We begin in southern China, where Typhoon Mankut is leaving a path of destruction in its wake. In Guangdong, China's most populated province, four people have died, buildings have been destroyed, and cities completely shut down. Two and a half million people have been evacuated for what authorities are calling the King of Storms. In the Philippines, more than 65 people died as Mankut ripped through the country over the weekend, as Philip Cherm reports. After leaving a trail of destruction in the Philippines, Typhoon Mankot made landfall in China on Sunday afternoon, threatening to do the same there. As it hit Hong Kong, winds reached almost 180 kilometers an hour, smashing windows and even destroying some tall buildings. People were warned to stay indoors. More than 200 people are believed to have been injured as water levels rose by almost three and a half meters in some parts, leaving debris from the sea on the streets. Vehicles and trees were also thrown around by the wind and floodwaters as roads became rivers. Most shops were closed and more than 100,000 airline passengers had their journeys disrupted as hundreds of flights were canceled at Hong Kong International Airport. However, Hong Kong avoided the worst of the storm and Mankut has moved towards Guangdong province, China's most populous region. Its journey further inland into China is expected to leave scenes of devastation similar to those seen in the Philippines over the weekend. Almost two and a half million people have already been relocated and authorities have issued a red alert, the highest possible warning. The destruction comes after the typhoon ripped across the Philippines on Saturday. Mankot is expected to weaken into a tropical depression by Tuesday as it moves inland. As people work out how they will start to clean up after Mankot, they'll be counting the human and economic cost for a long time. But it term, Euronews. And the typhoon first made landfall in the Philippines, where rescue efforts are now underway with flooding, landslides and debris everywhere. NBC News' Janice McEfrayer sent us this report from Itogon in the Philippines. Days now since Typhoon Mankut struck the Philippines, but only now is the extent of the typhoon being revealed. We're at Itogon. It's a village deep in a valley, and there are dozens of people who are trapped under rock and debris. They're mostly miners. Uh, they had been in their bunkhouses when part of the hill over here collapsed, the landslide coming down burying them, and another landslide uh, preventing others from being able to escape. Uh, across the Philippines, they are beginning to take toll. Uh, there's heavy damage to houses, to huts, and to crops. Uh, the storm passed about 24 hours after it hit the most powerful storm on the planet yet this year, but it's going to take considerably longer for the Philippines to recover. I'm Janice Mackey-Frere in Itagon, Philippines, NBC News for Euronews.